Thing one tonight, you may have heard there was a hearing today on the Capitol with the CEO of Google called by House Republicans on the Judiciary Committee who've been looking into allegations of liberal bias online. Now, it started out as most hearings do. Google CEO Sundar Pichai entered a packed room ready to face the assembled congressmen and women. But as soon as Pichai took his seat, the monopoly man settled in right behind him over his left shoulder. Look at that. It's actually an activist named Ian Madrigal, who also appeared at a 2017 hearing on the Equifax data breach and at Mark Zuckerberg's Senate hearing in April, that time dressed as a Russian troll. The Monopoly man put on quite a show over the course of today's three-hour hearing, adding a monocle to the costume at one point, holding up a bag stuffed with fake money, and at one point he upgraded the mustache to a supersized mustache, and then the old four mustaches at the same time gag. But the Monopoly man was actually not the most cartoonish character at today's hearing. No, that honor goes to uh, most of the Congress people asking the questions. That's thing two in 60 seconds. If it wasn't already obvious from the fact that they called a hearing in the first place that the Congress people on the House Judiciary Committee really don't know how the Internet works, let alone how search engines work, it was made quite clear today by the questioning of the CEO of Google. I Googled American Health Care Act, and virtually every article was an attack on our bill. Article after article alleging that our bill would result in millions and millions of people losing the great care that they were supposedly getting under Obamacare. I have a seven-year-old granddaughter who picked up her phone before the election, and she's playing a little game, kind of game a kid would play, and up on there pops a picture of her grandfather. How does that show up on a seven-year-old's iPhone who's playing a kid's game? Congressman, uh, iPhone is made by a different company. Right now, if you Google the word idiot <laughs> under images, a picture of Donald Trump comes up. I just did that. How would that happen? My chief of staff went on, she told me, uh, every night for two weeks and put proper, honest information in with proper annotations, and Wikipedia's liberal editors around the world would knock it out every day and ch instead put up a bunch of garbage. Let me just conclude here by stating the obvious. If you want positive search results, do positive things. If you don't want negative search results, don't do negative things. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.